The best-selling chip in electronics. The timeless legend of timing circuits. The rhythm master of the entire analog world. It is the eight-legged little beetle. The NE555 timer. Traffic lights switching colors. Washing machines starting and stopping their drums. Sound-activated streetlights fading out after a delay. All these everyday rhythms we take for granted are actually following the beat of a 50-year-old chip. Before the NE555 existed, making a circuit keep time was an engineer's worst nightmare. Use an RC circuit? Too unstable. A bit of heat or a tiny voltage change and your timing falls apart. Use a crystal oscillator? Stable, yes, but big, expensive, and needed manual calibration. Use a microcontroller? Back then, it was so costly that even labs had to think twice. Engineers were stuck choosing between accurate but expensive or cheap but unreliable. A timer that was both affordable and precise felt almost impossible. Then, in 1971, Hans Kamenzind had a spark of genius. He invented a solution that was simple, elegant, and brilliant. Use a capacitor's charge-discharge rate to represent time. Use comparators and flip-flops to decide the state. Add a few resistors outside, and the delay becomes fully adjustable. And the result? Costs only a few cents. Stable enough to rival crystal oscillators. Generates pulses, square waves, delays, PWM. In the hands of engineers, it could do almost anything. It gave cold electronic circuits a sense of time for the very first time. It gave systems their own rhythm and breathing. Without it, LEDs wouldn't blink. Motors wouldn't start and stop cleanly and many early devices simply wouldn't work. It's the tiny chip that taught circuits how to keep time. The true rhythm master of the electronic world.